welcome back to my channel, Life with Penny, and welcome into the kitchen. So last week I did a um, video with a Dollar Tree meal. So today we are going to do a Dollar General meal. Um, Dollar Generals are more apt to be in small areas than Dollar Tree. So what I mean by that is if you live in a small populated area, you're more likely to have a Dollar General than you are a Dollar Tree. So we do not have a Dollar Tree around us. It takes me 40 miles to get to a Dollar Tree. Um, but a lot of people have Dollar Generals, unless you're in a highly populated area because Dollar General, they focus on small, tiny towns. That's, they have, they have Dollar Generals in towns that don't have enough population to supply workers because they know that those people will come into that store. So we have a Dollar General in our, we have three in our county. <laughs> and so I thought I would do a meal with you today um, from Dollar General. So this is a really quick, easy meal that's also cost efficient. All right, so everything came from Dollar General. The first thing I got was two boxes of the Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix and they are 55 cents a box. So we are up to $1.10. You know what, I'm gonna write this down, hold on. Hold on, we'll just keep track as we go. Okay, so $1.10 for that. And then we're gonna put in two eggs. Oh, you know what, I'm not gonna keep track because I'm not gonna do the math. Um, for for that so i have homegrown eggs here so i don't have a cost for those but you know you can buy your eggs at dollar general too so i've got two eggs going in the pot here i've got my oven preheating to 375 degrees right now most of you could probably do 350 but my oven cooks kind of low okay and then so two eggs, two boxes of the corn muffin mix, and two thirds of a cup of milk. Even my milk came from Dollar General. The only thing that didn't come from there was, um, like I said, my eggs, but you can get eggs there, okay? So we're gonna mix this up real good, just like you would do, the, just like it's on the directions for, um, the box okay this will feed I would say this will feed 300 people for light eaters that's my prediction of this okay all right so I've got my pan here it's a square pan I got from um, it's a copper chef and I really probably don't need to use the Pam spray, but I'm just gonna use a little bit just, just in case. So this is one of those meals that's super fast so that you get home from work and you're tired, but you can throw it in the oven and we're gonna let it bake for, in my oven, I'm gonna let it bake for 40 minutes. Um, I'll check it after about 30. Okay, so I'm going to take this, I'm gonna tilt the camera down. You're not gonna really see me. You're gonna see more of um, what I do. Hello, are you all car sick now? <laughs> oh my goodness. Real life, uh, real life filming right there, folks, huh? Okay, I'm so sorry. And I don't wanna start all over again. So we're just gonna roll with it. All right, so we're gonna put both of these boxes of um, corn muffin mix into the pan. I'm gonna soak my, my bowl there because we do not have a dishwasher, so. I love cornbread. Cornbread is so yummy. I'm just gonna get all this cornbread off of the spoon here. Mm -mm. Okay, next thing, you can choose what brand of chili you want to use. I got the Nally Thick Chili. It was $1.25. 
at Dollar General. That was the cheapest that I could find for chili. And I'm just gonna pour it over my uh, cornbread. It was a little runny on the top, but I think because it's been hot. But we're just gonna put this one can in here. Now, if you wanted to, you could put two cans in here, but we're just gonna put one. All right, next I have the Armor Classic Hot Dogs, and these were $1.25 for the whole package. And so according to your budget, you can pick what you want. They have the, like the sausage ones with the cheese in them, the, but they're all the way up to like $4. So I just got what would be the cheapest. Because we're gonna figure the corn muffin mix, the hot dogs, the chili. The cheese was the most expensive. It was $2.63 for that bag. So we're just gonna cut up these hot dogs. Now, if you choose to only wanna use two hot dogs in here, that's fine. If you want to use four, if you want to use all of them, this is going to be your preference, okay? Um, it's just the two of us, and Buster used to always eat our leftover hot dogs. Well, we don't have little Buster anymore, so I think I'm going to put four hot dogs in here. Maybe six. I mean, why not? My husband is a meat-loving fool. He likes meat. I could go without it sometimes, but he likes meat. So there's four hot dogs. You know, I'm gonna put six in here. We'll have two left over. Um, so really it did, it cost us about a dollar for this. We wanna figure that out. But I'm not gonna break it all down today. We're gonna bake this, like I said. I'm gonna check it after 30 minutes and it might go as long as 40 minutes. I was going to make it over the weekend, but it was so stinking hot that I didn't. And it's not as hot today. It's, temperatures probably dropped 10 degrees. It was, I think, 90. Maybe it was. I never really checked my app today. I think it was around 95 or so. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put this right over the top of it. And this is another thing that if you wanted to use just a little bit of it to be sparingly, you could if you were going to use it for another recipe, or you can just put the whole thing over there. So, okay, Taylor, that's enough. You want some attention, I guess. That's my cat. Nope. Okay. All right. So there it is, folks. I'm going to bake it uncovered for right now. I will be back with it and I'll dish it up for you and let you see what it looks like when it's all done, okay? All right, you guys, here it is. It just came out of the oven and it was actually in there for 30 minutes, not 40. And a good thing I checked it because it would have been really too overcooked if I would have made it um, for 40. So 30 minutes and I will cut into it in just a minute and show you. All right, here it is, dished up. Um, I haven't tasted it yet. I'll let you know in the comments what it tastes like, but I'm going to let it cool off a little bit. I also want to show you, my husband had a big serving. I had a big serving and we still have a ton left. So there's at least three more meals. So this will serve five people hungry, six people if you're not such a big appetite. So this really broke down to probably less than a dollar a person Per serving for this so this was a very um, budget friendly meal so all right you guys thanks for watching have a great day and I'll see you real soon bye bye